Mm. Hey guys, Vodakid again. Welcome back to more Luigi's Mansion. Last week, we basically finished off Area 2 in this episode. There it is. The gravestone of what I consider to be the scariest looking ghost in all of Luigi's Mansion. And considered the hardest boss, too. Bogmire. Or the hardest besides King Boo, that is. Well, the hardest to get a good rank on, I should say. Bogmire. So, Bogmire. His whole gimmick has to do with shadows. Yep. There's one right now. Okay, so getting this boss fight started, once this cutscene decides to stop, what we're gonna do... We're gonna suck up the shadow that's right in front of us. Come here. Come here. And then we follow the shadow over here, Bogmire himself. Well, my, yeah, this is gonna take us several times, so be here, ready to get some popcorn, get a snack or whatever, because this boss fight, it's gonna be a minute. Okay, so what example? Yeah, sometimes he'll shoot off a shadow and other times he won't. It all depends on what kind of mood he's in now. Well, unless, of course, you do something stupid like me. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna get a good rank on this boss. I already... Yeah, I already know that for a fact. I, like, messed up twice right now. Alright, Bogmire, what do you got for me? Okay, so where are you? There you are. Well, that is if you might actually hit my target. Hey. Okay, here we go. Get you, and try again. Alright, come here. Ugh, you are probably the most stubborn boss fight of all time. Okay. But yeah, I really do consider Bogmire to be the creepiest ghost. Like, I don't know if this is true or not, I can think of it wrong, but I think Bogmire is the oldest ghost in the movie's world. Then again, I could just be like completely wrong. But we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna get this right here. Okay. And where are you, Bogmire? Other t yeah, there he is. Right over there. Oh. I was gonna go for the sniper, but it just did not happen. There you are. God, the aiming in this game. I usually don't have this much trouble with Bogmire. He's usually not that bad. See? Ugh, oh, damn. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna get a good rank. Alright, come here. Where are you, Bogmire? Over there? Okay. Yeah, sometimes you gotta follow Luigi Shadow too, and not just his. Because it'll like tell you exactly where you're going. Come here. 33. Okay, 14. That's fine. I think maybe one or two more times. Alright, come here. Alright, and you. Okay. Yeah, gotcha, Bogmire. And there we go! Area 2 is now cleared! Oh, what could this be? The key to the next area. Sweet. Luigi! Hmm? Luigi, can you hear me? Good to hear you're still okay. I lost your signal when that lightning struck. Hmm, that was some battle you had there. Why don't you come on back to the lab? What, you think the lighting damage, lightning damage the Poltergust 3000? <laughs> don't worry about it. Even if that lightning had cooked your goose, your Poltergust 3000 wouldn't even have a scratch. <laughs> oh, so you're not even worried about me? Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Looks like you got a vacuum full of ghosts there. What do you say we put them through the old ghost portrait... The ghost portrait organizer. I'd probably put you there, I'm sorry. Even though it's like the second time I've ever said it. Okay. Alright. I'm curious as far as what uh, ranking we got on each boss. I actually had to redo the Draco, so it's probably different. Ghosts are invisible, so we need to press them into visible forms. And presto, turn them into beautiful ghost portraits. Yeah, that's a bronze painting right there. Uh, bronze. I think that's gold for them or bronze. I don't know which. 
gold. I don't know what's gold and what's bronze. I think that's gold too. What's that? Ah, okay. Now what's this? Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, we managed to turn those ghosts back into paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. <laughs> Mr. Lugs, the floating whirlwinds, Melody, Shivers, Spooky, and Bogmire. A total of nine ghosts. Spooky will never be as cute as Luigi's dog. Or his little ghost dog, I should say. All right. I also ended up finding a second ruby off screen, so <laughs> that's a thing. All right. Sweet. Save, and let's move on to the world. Where we go, Luigi? I'm gonna go back to the mansion. Careful now, Luigi. As soon as we get rid of Bogmar, we go right back into the frying pan. Cause we gotta save our brother. We care about him. We care about him more than anything in the world. And boop. there's the flashlight. All right, let's keep on going. In we go. Now hold on a minute. Okay, so we're gonna be heading on over to area three. Um. I don't really have much to talk about. I mean, today was a busy day at work, but I just think that's because um, New Year's Eve is around the corner, and I think everybody is getting ready for the end of 2020. Like, everyone just wants it to end. All right, here we go. Area three, the green key. And... Here we go. Now this area right here has two things for us to do before we continue on in the world. First and foremost is oof out. We need to go that, We need to go down here and the bottom of the world. Why you ask? There's something for us down here. Go over here. Oh, it's a shortcut, but to where? I don't know. It looks like Luigi's getting eaten by a lion. Get me out of here! Get me out of here! All right, and we catch that ghost, and then he drops. The next key to the next area. But before we do that, there's something I want to do before we go on in the world. There's, um, oh, go up the ladder, Luigi. So if we go up here, and then we go to the, um, the little bird cage over here. Yeah, a little bird cage. There's something for us. Looks like some kind of, nope. We found Mario's letter. I I wonder what it says. Okay, well. And now, before I go on to the door, we gotta, we gotta go visit our fortune teller friend again. <laughs> However, now that area two is all finished, it's just the light way to there. <laughs> now, honestly, I would love to live in a mansion like this, honestly. Even if there were ghosts inside of it, I'd still want to live in it. I don't know. Maybe I just like the way it's designed. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Hello again. Hmm. What is this object you have here? Show it, please. To Madame Clairvoya. What is this? If it isn't Mario's letter, give it to me. I will read it at once. Sure, it's okay. I'm a licensed letter reader. What? What? Hmm, let's see. Look out for booze, Luigi. Is that all? Not a novelist, you old Mario. This must have been written in quite a hurry. Oh, oh, they come. Now the spirits come. Come, spirits of power. Come, spirits of sight. Show to me the awful things occurring here tonight. Crystal orb, symbol of my clan. Use your darkling power 
to show us all you could. I mean, can. Show us all you can. Show us this, Mario. The light of the spirit comes. Show us what we see. Oh, uh, your Mario is in prison. But where? Oh, where is he being held? Yes, a painting. Your Mario is been imprisoned within a painting. My orb shows an odd altar, and... Come on, you stupid orb. Yes, above it's your Mario, trapped in a painting. I cannot concentrate. The spirits are living. If you wish to know of more of your Mario, bring more of his dropped items. Well, lady, I'm gonna say something Uncle Al said in one of his parodies. Mm -hmm. This isn't a new revelation, you idiot. How's about you make yourself useful and tell me something I don't know? <laughs> oh, man. There's gonna be times when um, the fortune teller tells us stuff that we already know. Because we saw them at the bottom of the well. Okay, well now that we've done that, there's a certain someone that I want to talk to. Oh, hello. I'm gonna go ahead and take you. Or not. Yeah, you know what, I'll leave you alone for now. Because I think... Right here. This is where I want to open. Oof. I was trying to open it on the side, but I'm too stupid. Hello. Hi. You saw him, didn't you? How could they do that to Mario? When I saw him like that, I completely lost it and ran through the mansion looking for a hiding place. While I was running through, I didn't happen to notice that Mario left some of his things lying around the place. A hat, a glove, a shoe, a letter, and a star. I saw five items all together. I go collect them for you, but if I can remember where they were, yeah, I probably should have picked up some. Leave it to me. Oh, really? You'll find all Mario's items for me? Yippee! Skip Yahoo! Oh, thank you so much, Luigi. Alright, well I'm gonna go ahead and save. But we're not to the end of the episode just yet. I wanna open this door first. And I believe we have enough time to catch the next optional boss, which is right behind this door. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now for this door, there's something lifting that, but you can't see it. But if you punch this thing, it'll hit him and he'll get angry. And then what'll happen is he'll start chasing after you. Then you just do that again. And then... He'll start flailing his arms like crazy, and then you just do that, and he's down. He's down for the count. Alright. Alright, 88, 70, 60, yes. Back here, I know you're strong. Avoid the poison. Ow. I was trying to avoid the poison mushroom, but whatever. So where is he? Oh, I gotta do that all over again. Luckily, though, whenever you hit him again, he just falls right down and you can just continue where you left him. Come here. You're mine. And now that we've done that, that treasure chest is there, but... It's a lot of money. And a diamond. <laughs> now I gotta walk in using my diamond. Or emerald. It looks like a diamond. I love that voice thing, that voiceover thing way too much. Probably more than I should. That's a bomb. Okay, so where are you, Mr. Boo? Oh, you're on whatever the heck that is. It is I, Fire Boogard. All right, let's go ahead and catch you, Boogard. I'm just gonna hide behind the corner here, kind of shimmy shammy around, and... Oh, where did you go? Hmm. Um, uh, did he go up top? I don't know, where is he? Did he go in the Oh, wait, that, that door's on fire. I should, like, get the water from down here and get it out. Okay, um, I think that is actually the first instance of a failed caught boo. Or at least I think so. But I think he's in the room right above us, so I can't really, um, can't really be too upset because we're about to go into that room. But however, we're getting pretty close to the end of the episode. So what I'm thinking is, uh, next time on Luigi's Mansion, we will 
put that water out and go into the next room. See you guys later. Eat.